Well, hey there, everybody. And by everybody, I mean the select few that are playing. The horns from France. We're not actually from France, but it's fine. We're going to call you French horns. I, it's a long story. I'll tell you why. But you're not actually from France, so there you go. You're the horns not from France, perhaps. Anyways, I'm excited. If you're watching this video, you should probably be a horn player. Horns, we're going to talk about our first three notes that we're going to learn. Uh, go back if you forgot how to put your instrument together, how to hold it correctly. Um, that video is here on YouTube somewhere. Just find it. If you go to my channel, you can find it. Um, I'm excited because I can't wait to teach you your first three notes. Let's take a look. Okay, we're going we're gonna to start with note number three. Uh, note number three is tricky for the horns, but not, not too bad. And this is A for horn. There's no A in French horn, is there? It's okay. Note number three for horn is A, and we want to be very careful when we play this. We're going to be using our lips very nice and tight. Remember, two-thirds up or one-third lower. We want to make sure that we fill our mouthpiece correctly with the right shape. So we want more upper lip than bottom lip. When we do this, we want to make sure our right hand has the princess wave, also the pinky that's broken forever. Goes right into the bell, make it nice and tight. We don't want to put it all the way in there. We just want to bring it out here so we can hold it. And we want to sit up nice and tall. And for A, what we're going to do is we are going to press down our trigger and our first two fingers like this. Trigger and first two, so the trigger is thumb, and our first two fingers. Now, chances are when you first play, it's going to sound something like this. And that's not a bad first sound on horn, but high A, which is note number three for the horn, is actually a lot higher. It sounds like this. As you noticed, I actually went a little too high and I brought myself down. The way we get higher is we push faster air through the instrument. You can pinch a tiny bit from the corner of your mouth, but we don't want to pinch too much. So that's that sound again. Note number three sounds like this. So you can get three of those like this. If you can do that, you're a rock star. You're going to be fantastic. I love it. Okay, that was note number three. What do you think note number two is? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, oh, yeah. It is! If we do the musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. Very good, it is G for the horns. Note number two is G, G, note number two. Let's go back to A. Here's A, listen. Now we're gonna go to G, note number two. So we're gonna go down, all we're gonna do is we're going to not press anything down. G is open, completely open, no thumb, no fingers. Ready? Do you hear the difference between those two notes? We started with note three, A. And then we had G, no fingers down. So here's what I challenge to you. At this point, see if you can do this with me. Can you start on an A like this? And go to G back and forth like this. You can do that. You are a rock star, my friends. And then we only have one more note. Ah! Okay, so if we do our musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G. That's right, F, as in French horn. Note number one is F. Wouldn't you know? That's pretty crazy, isn't it? It's so crazy. I'm not funny. Not funny? You don't think I'm funny? You don't think? You're probably right. I'm not funny. Okay, so for horn, let's go back to G. Note number two. All we're going to do to go to note number one is we're just going to add our thumb back like this. That's it. So, note number one, F, is just your thumb, and it sounds like this. Now, some of you might get this sound out. That means our lips aren't close enough together. See if you can get them a little close enough to get this sound. Remember, two-thirds of our upper lip, one-third of our bottom, to get this sound. And then if you really want to challenge yourself, see if you can do this. Start on three. Then go to two. Then go to one. Trigger. F. I almost gave it away. Folks, here's your challenge for today. Challenge time. Horn players, I challenge you to find one, maybe two, maybe even three songs you can figure out using just three notes. That's it. Just the first three notes. That's F, 
G and A. Remember, note number three is A, note number two is G, and note number one is F. If you can do that, email me at kblack at wscloud.org, and I would love to see what you've come up with. I may even give you a prize, and it may even be, uh uh-oh, a rancher of the jolly. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Even the blue raspberry. We'll see. We'll see. Friends, you've been awesome. If at any point you get a little confused, message me. I'd be happy to help you. And remember, this is a YouTube video. You can pause, rewind. I bet you can even figure out how to watch it in slow motion. Don't do it because you'll see weird face gestures like... It's not in slow motion. That would have been funny though. Good work. Okay. Guys, you rock. Adios. Hasta la vista. Peace out. Sour. Kraut. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye.